faces round here. Good evening, Miss Cox. Hello again, Dr. Reed. What do you want? I managed to reach the mass grave in Southwark. It was not pleasant. Spare me the details, Dr. Reed. All I want to know is what happened to those bastards who owed me money. I'm afraid those bastards, as you call them, are in the mass grave. Dead? Shit. That money would have been useful. Well, I'll tell my boys to avoid the place if it's that dangerous. Yes. Everybody should avoid that place until further notice. Okay then, Doctor. It looks like you deserve your reward after all. The wet boot boys thank you for your help. Tell me your feelings about Booth's belief in monsters, Edwina. It makes him look weak in front of the boys, that's my feeling about it. But ghosts don't scare me. You don't believe he really saw something, then? I don't care what he saw or not. All I know is that a real man keeps his fears to himself if he wants to be obeyed. What can you tell me about your work? I'm a businesswoman. I buy and sell things, and I send my wet boot boys after anyone who don't play nice with me. Gang member and shopkeeper. Can't be easy running double shifts. If you're interested, I may find use of a doctor who can freely walk across the city, you know. I'm not interested in a career in the criminal underworld, Miss Cox. Fair enough. Stay away from us, then, if you don't want to get hurt. Or worse. Since my return from the war, I don't feel that concerned by threats, knives, or even bullets, if you must know. That's exactly what that stupid trade unionist claimed after he attacked one of us. Booth and I reminded him a bullet beats words every time. Can I see what you have to sell? As long as you have money, I'll show you all I have. What do you want? Tell me about the man you killed, Booth. What happened? One of us had been killed, so we had to retaliate. That's the whole story. There has to be more to it than that. No, really. One of us got killed, so the killer had to die. That's how things have always been done round here. No one gives a shit. Are you so heartless that you could pull the trigger and kill someone without even blinking? Have you looked around recently? Do you really think one more body will make a difference? I know you believe monsters are real, Booth. They are. I know, I saw one, but no one believes me. Tell me what you saw. 
It was a few years ago. Clay Cox was still the boss then. He'd sent me to the shipyard to find out who was stealing tools and ropes at night. Go on. First, I thought it was an old lady with a limp. It looked frail and crooked. Then I saw it grab a bloody beam and lift it like it was a stick. I shouted. It looked straight at me. Do you know what it was? It was all eyes and long teeth, but I, I, could, I couldn't see its face. I shot at it when it moved towards me and I hit it. And then it jumped and vanished in the shadows. You could have imagined all that. These docks can be so gloomy at night. With the fog and the wind and the boats creaking. No, Doctor. That night I saw the fucking sewer dog for real. It's not a beast like the stories say. It's the ghost of an old woman. Bullets can't stop it. But no one believes me. Are your friends mocking you? Even if Weena told me once to never speak about it. But I know what I saw. And it wasn't a human. Not human at all. Do you know Edwina suspects you to be unfaithful? Edwina's the one who asked to be called Mrs. Cox, even though Clay hadn't touched her for such a long time. You have not answered my question. She's a passionate woman. I've no doubt she'll shoot me down if I ever betray her, but that's not going to happen. I love her as she is. Goodbye, Mr. Digby.
Yes. The place has changed since the explosion, but it was definitely here. May all who suffered from this tragedy find all rest in peace.